Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some extra more frequently asked questions which we're going to talk about when you're using twin motion. Question that we have is how do you export as 60 frames per second? So what we're going to do is for you to be able to export at 60 frames per second still using the exact one that we have here so let me just move and go over to another part of the object of the scene you already know this scene by now so let's say we're within this part and i'm going to just simply refresh so we have this simple playback that goes from here and you know flips over to these other parts so let's change the time of day all right so and it flips over to these uh, other parts so if you want to export this at 60 frames per second this is something that you can easily do by just simply going over to where you have your export option with the video still selected go over to this part you have called more within the format click here and change this to 60 frames per second and by just doing that you'll be able to export this video at 60 frames per second also we have another question asking about how you can take autographic images from let's say the top view of your render all right so how you can do that is very very simple i'm just going to go ahead and delete this all right so because we don't need it anymore and you might have also noticed that we have a couple of shadows here so if you want to take autographic renders what we can do is you can come through and just directly here all right i'm just going to click here all the way up click on this button here where you have views and from here you can click the top view so with the top view you should be able to simply see this if for some reason you have shadows being casted on your scene and you do not like those shadows for some reason and you don't want them because you just want to get like very straight heads-on autographic views how you can solve this is by simply going over to this part called nature when we go over to lighting you can take the entire shadow down so by just turning all these shadows down it's very easy for you to now simply take uh snapshots so let me just take another snapshot here all right so you can just simply throw this in here and that's going to be about it now we have another question that says that when i am at uh 2359 i do not see stars okay so how do we fix this so i'm just going to jump right in here to one of the scenes that we've had previously and let's check the time of day for this particular uh shot so it's actually 2359 so if you do not see stars this is the reason why you don't see them first of all you need to understand that before you can see stars you your, your lighting plays a big role all right your lighting and your weather plays a huge role for you to be able to see stars so you need to be able to note where or what kind of you know settings that you have that would actually make you see or not see stars so like when it's raining you do not see stars in the sky when it's not raining then of course you can see that also if you go over or if we go over to the lighting you would be able to notice that we have something called moon power if we click on the moon power you can see the star intensity so we can punch the star intensity all the way up so you can see we have way brighter stars and if we turn the star intensity down you also notice that we do not see you know the stars so you should check out these settings and see maybe these are the settings that are actually contributing to why you are not or you are seeing the, the stars that you have okay Okay, so I think this might be the last but not the least so uh, actually it's not the last so one more is how do you snap objects to point or snap object to surfaces or snap object by default so by default twin motion snaps anything you throw at it so even if you bring out a decal like this you see automatically it's beginning to snap to surfaces by default all right so once you drag in something here you will notice that by default is just snapping these things directly to surfaces all right so this is how it snaps just by default it snaps to surfaces so the next kind of snapping which probably you might be asking of maybe if i'm not so sure about what snapping you're talking about is rotational snapping so if you want to check out your rotational snapping if you go over to edit go to preference directly here you're going to see that you can snap to different angles during your rotation period or during when you're rotating your object so you can either snap to 5 10 15 you know for the five degree all those kind of snapping you can do all that snapping directly directly here okay so the last one is simple the last question is how do you attach multiple okay 
So the last question is how do you attach multiple materials on a given cube? So this is the one which I'm going to reference you to a video, but then I'm going to go ahead and actually explain this. So if you're working from an app like SketchUp, so let's just drag in SketchUp here, take off this guy, bring out a simple rectangle. You can press R on your keyboard to do that. Press P to pull these things up. All right. Next thing which we can do is we can assign different materials. So if you assign different colors to your model, and you export this thing out it will be easier for you to you know go ahead and attach different textures because if you're working in um let me find something much more brighter than that okay so let's say you're working in twin motion and you have the same color all through you probably would not be able to assign you know a different material so i'm just going to go ahead and hit save us and let's just drag this right here and call this cube all right, so C U B E, and simply press enter to save that out. All right, so I'm also going to sim uh, take this out, open up a brand new scene, so we can bring in a new scene directly here, and now we will go ahead and import uh, this uh, thing here. So what did we save it out? We saved it as cube. So I'm just going to simply bring this in by clicking import. Come over to this part I have called open and because I want to open this cube and I can just double click open this cube and I have this cube in my scene. So this particular cube I have in the scene, I will right click, go all the way down to this part called zoom to selection to zoom this into selection. And also you might notice that they all have different uh, colors or different stuff on different sides. So what you want to do is you want to pick the material you want and now you can assign different materials to different sections. So if I decide to pick a stone, you can see I have it assigned to that section differently. I can still do the same thing here. I can still pick something totally different for here. So the reason why this is like this is because by default Twinmotion knows that you need to apply these two given materials. And the, once you begin to break or you attach different stuffs to this material, automatically Twinmotion will break these things as individual piece. All right. So Twinmotion by default is going to break all these objects as individual piece. So if you're importing from SketchUp and you want or from any app and you want to attach different materials, all right, so you can simply, simply just change the, the image or the color or, or something, you know, you can just simply change the color of different sections of your model. So once you bring them directly in, you can change the textures as much as you want. So this is going to be about it, guys. I would like to know if you guys have questions about this. You can put them in the comment section below. If you have more questions about Twinmotion, also put them in the comment section. Check out the other videos, the other frequently asked videos which we've done. Probably something has been answered there so you don't, you know, throw the same questions over and over. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, turn on notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video, the next update. And until I see you guys again, with a tutorial update frequently asked questions free friday tips and tricks things like this peace